And we're gonna do a little fun event here. Uh, she's gonna teach me how to do some draw controls, and I'm gonna show her how to face off. Set. Three. Got to House of Sports in Westchester, where Sammy Joe Tracy and I are going to teach each other how to do face offs and draw controls. She is one of the greatest all time draw control specialists in the history of women's lacrosse. She will be running the Draw Control Academy from here on out, and I'm going to show her how we do face-offs. This is the House of Sports in Ardsley. This is where we do our Wednesday night draw, uh, draw days. This is where the Savage Squad unites. So obviously the goal for the Face-Off Academy was to create the world's best training system for face-off, and we obviously believe that we've done that. Every single player that trains with us ends up being um, an elite level face-off guy or at least reaches his potential. The idea behind the Draw Control Academy was to do the same thing, but we had to find the perfect person. Sammy Joe Tracy from UNC, she has really brought the draw to prominence and she does more than that. She played her first professional game this weekend and she led the team in goals, so she can do it all. Finds a nice cut there and what a goal from Sammy Joe Tracy. Her back to the goal between the legs and puts North Carolina on top. And that's what Sammy Joe Tracy is capable of. She's just so, so brilliant with the stick in her hands. The draw obviously is important, yes. but the part about like when you walk out there, what draw, like for me, I love the fact that when I walk out for a face off, the whole world's watching me mm -hmm. and they're sitting there going, you're either gonna do awesome and we're gonna clap or you're gonna completely fail in front of everybody and then you're gonna get judged. And I actually love that. So like, what about the draw control that you like, aside from the technical aspect. I'm obsessed with stick skills. My favorite part of practice is honestly partner passing. But the thing is you can do a lot of one-handed work and a lot of cool things that transcend into the offensive end. So I love picking up the ground ball and flinging it with my stick to a pass, which actually leads to a fast break goal. So that is my favorite part. I love um, catching it out of the air in one hand and maybe throw it behind the back, maybe it becomes a goal. Three different types of draws. Because when you get up there, not all the time is it gonna go your way. Refs, where they put the ball, the way the other girl's doing it, or the circle girls around, around you, depending where they stand, is gonna be a factor. For me, I always start with my righty push first. And what we do is the ball needs to be in the top of both strings, for me and Greg, right? Okay. So the ball sits right up there. What I do is I try to fight for the under lip, that is important. Because mm. sometimes the sticks don't set up right, and sometimes you have to sit with the under lip. I use that as my advantage. So the under lip is this side wall? Yes, this side gotcha. wall right here. Because okay. they try to match it up the best, but see how the sticks don't go. Mm. Okay. So if you can, try to get the under lip. Then we tilt our stick, not below the hip. It has to be above the hip. That now can I bend my knees a little bit yes. to get that advantage? Okay. So we want, and see my head, and my feet are under, because my power comes from here. But also if I lose, which does happen, I have the ability to move anywhere and be agile, because I'm in an athletic position. Right here, my arm is, is locked, you can't move it. What I do is I take my hand and I motorcycle grip it over, so my first movement is flat. And I'm digging into the sidewall, get, grabbing that ball. My second motion is a push, and then a box out. Can we get a tweet? Tweet! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm off. Then we have our second one, which is our lefty. It's a little different, but same concept. So my head and my foot are under each other, and I'm back in a, like, a running athletic position. This time, I'm in a 90 degree angle, or a muscle flex against the girl's stick, but same thing, our stick is at an angle, but not below our hip. And this time, my hand, instead of over, is now flat. So my first motion is, again, flat. But I'm still digging. So, so it looks by like, digging, you're gonna push into my stick. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the ball out of your stick, push forward, and again, Greg is on my back. Put it all together. Three. And another grab. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and another grab. And another grab. And the last one we're gonna learn is another lefty. So I'm gonna stand facing my opponent. My foot is, if we had a line right here, is towing the line, it's not over, it's right on it. Same, same concept again. We have, we're choking up on our head. My, my foot is under the head of the stick. 
I'm gripping the butt. Don't touch the butt. Nemo! He touched the butt. But this time, I'm again, with since it's the left hand, you kind of see my gloves. Well, if I had nail polish, you would see it. And I'm at this flex of a bicep. So same, kind of same, all kind of with the same technique, except this time, I'm gonna scoop and I'm gonna come back and up. So I'm gonna lean backwards on my heels and use my body's force and the stick going flat to bring me back this way. We're grabbing the ball out of the stick, popping up and flat. Three. Same thing, and Greg is on my back. And stick protection. Now, so. if you go early, it's a false start, and then yes. you just drop the ball right there and you... I give it. them to you, take my step back, and I'm ready for you. Do the face off, everything for, for the draw control seems like it's about going up, right? Yeah. Everything for the face off is about going down and maintaining control on top of the ball. So for our rules, when you line up, everything's gotta be to the left of the plastic. Everything has to be off the line. The officials are gonna line us up first, and we're gonna line up top to stop. So the top of my head has to meet the ball stop of yours. And then they're gonna put the ball down in the middle, and they're gonna say set with their hands here and back out. And then they're gonna blow the whistle. On the whistle, we can go for the ball. Now, we wanna get on top of the ball, all right? So we're gonna do this one of two ways. The, the classic way that we've done it, which is making a comeback, which is great, is the stand up neutral grip. So you're gonna stand up, or neutral grip or traditional grip. You hold the hand, uh, the stick here, your hands can't touch the plastic. Your right foot is gonna be your plant foot. So you're gonna point it at me, okay? And you're gonna keep it off the line just a little bit so your hips are open. Your left foot will always be up to the line. And then you're gonna go down and your heel, your left heel is gonna come up off the ground, okay? Now, when you look at the ball, you should be looking at it from the side. So you want your weight on your right foot and then you want to be looking at the ball this way. Okay, now the top of that tape, put your left hand there. Okay, that gives you more speed. I'm like doing the draw with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make sure your hand's off the plastic here. Yeah, they're gonna get you for that. All right, good, so, so now we're looking at the ball here. You should be able to pick your hands up and not move your body at all. That means you have balance. Okay, now out of this motion, we're gonna do one of two things. We're either gonna rake, where we're gonna use the bottom sidewall, and we're gonna come lift our left hand and come underneath the other guy's stick come out here. Or we're gonna do the plunger rake where you saw Garino using this in the championship game where you're gonna roll your wrist on top of the ball and pull out. So you're gonna plunger, yep, you're gonna come down on the ball and as you do that, you're gonna lift your left hand. So it ends up being a nice smooth motion and you get a piece and that way you can pop it out and go, okay? So give that a try there. So you're gonna roll your right wrist onto the ball, pull your left hand out, oh. Went right to the leg, look at that. <laughs> so that's our stand-up neutral grip. That, the reason that works is because while everybody else is used to coming down, you can come out this way, and if you don't get it, you can step up. In the men's game, if you end up with the plant, you get one move to get the ball out. So if you're already standing, all you have to do is follow me, and as I go to pull it out, you can check. Okay, so now let's go over the knee down move, which has become pretty popular over the years. So you're always gonna put your right knee down, and you're gonna point your right knee at me. Okay, so let's bring it like right up there. Good, now, non-negotiables we have with our FO athletes. Right knee has to be pointing towards the ball, it can't be closed. Two, your right toe has to be locked, like you're gonna push off like an athlete, okay? And three, your left foot has to be up to or close to the line. So, That's good. okay, yeah, now you're gonna go moto grip. So flip that right hand over. Okay, now, go ahead, go ahead down towards the ball. Now, take your right wrist, cock it back like this, good. Good, now that's gonna set your forearm against your knee, okay? Like this? Yeah, just like that, there you go, okay? So now, same thing though, you're gonna lean towards the ball and you're gonna look at the ball from the side. Okay? Oh, like this. There you go, yeah. Because you don't wanna fall upfield. So if I lean this way, I fall upfield. If we lean on this knee towards the ball, we fall into the ball. Yeah, exactly, okay? okay? So now you're down, perfect. Okay, so now what we're gonna use out of this is where you're gonna use a plunger. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna Take your right hand, because as you notice, we are far from the ball. We want to use the strong part of the plastic, which is a throat. We're going to drive the right hand into the ball and then lift the left. And what that does is it secures the ball into the bottom of the pocket so that we can then do what we call a pro hop. You get to your feet and then pull the ball out. Okay. Yep. All right. Go ahead down. Right knee pointing towards the ball and the opponent. 
Right toe is locked, left foot's up to the line. Looking at it from the side. Not from the side, like you want to be looking at it like this? this way. Now put your weight on your right knee. There you go. You're going to push your right hand into the ball. Left hand's going to come up. You're going to bend the plastic. Then you're going to stomp your feet. And then you're going to pop the ball out. <laughs> Booyah! Thank you. Pitch and pop! <laughs> Draw control looks like everything's about coming up. And the men's face off, everything's about going down. All right, and now Sammy Joe's gonna smoke me on a face off. All right. All right, so <laughs> Fry's gonna give us a down, then set, then blow the whistle. Use whichever one of those stances you like best. Okay. Set. Three. Just kidding. <laughs> Go! <on>! Yes! <laughs> All right, guys, so that's DCA, FOA coming at you all summer, all fall, all winter. See you guys later.